Everyone who enters a crime scene leaves something behind and takes something away. Hmm. Dr. Jano is a genius. His lecture tonight on forensic analysis of the Zodiac Killer? Oh, it's gonna be mind-blowing. So excited. Cool. We are approaching San Francisco. The local time is 5.02 p.m. And the weather, it's just fine. your shirt. Is it a stain? Doesn't look like anything to me. Come on. I know it's ketchup. Oh, I think that's Leslie. Hey, you guys Max and Rue? Uh, yeah. Hello? Hey, uh, I'm a friend of uh, Leslie's. She's tied up at the moment. I'm gonna give you a ride to her apartment. Oh, okay. Well, it's really nice of you. Thanks. Mm. Uh, why don't you hop in the back? I got a lot of gear up here. Okay. Ugh. If you see a suspicious package, please notify a security agent or dial zero from the nearest courtesy telephone. Hey, Rue. This guy has gear. Stop, it's not polite to snoop around. So, how long are you guys going to be in San Francisco? Um, uh, just for a couple days. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you never leave. Oh, oh yeah. I love this song. Do, 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 do. Leslie and you, um, how do you know each other again? I told you. She's an old friend of mine. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see it? What? His micro expression. What, what, what are you talking about? Okay, take, take a look at this. This facial expression mm. looks normal. But if we slow it down a bit, the person's true motives are revealed for a split second. I happen to be one of the few people who can see micro expressions without slow motion video. Wow. I really don't think this guy knows who Leslie is. So let's just tell him to pull over. Oh, I let's love tell California. The weather's so nice. Oh, you get down, shake, shout, make out the weather's fine. Ah, uh, don't get too excited. San Francisco weather changes like that. Oh. I'm gonna take a shortcut here. good ever happens in the woods, I'll tell you that. Hey, you see that spot over there? On July 4th, 1969, that's the exact spot the Zodiac Killer shot Michael and Darlene. You know, he had a thing for the couples. Oh, huh, interesting. So, wh wh what happened to the Zodiac Killer? It's a good question. You know, they never caught him. <laughs> the sign of the Zodiac. Rue, that's the sign of the Zodiac. Stop biting your nails. Why can't you just 
just enjoy the beautiful weather of San Francisco. You're always so nervous and paranoid and sick. Oh. Huh? Oh, um, something... F <gasps> Stop, it's not polite to snoop around. going to die. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to leave forensic evidence. What do you mean? Well, investigators will look for trace evidence, so we need to leave some behind. But we also have to take some away. You're right, because our bodies will get dumped in the bushes. Exactly. Why didn't they eat me? I guess I'm more delicious. Oh, whatever. So, are we just gonna stay here forever? No, eventually someone will find us. Uh, statistically speaking, it's usually a jogger. No, Max. It's usually a hunter I've seen on TV. Hmm, that's true. All right, let's split the difference. <sighs> Jogging hunter. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> next? Well, then they take our remains to a forensics lab where they conduct tests. <sighs> mm. huh, I knew it was ketchup. Well, that's not important right now. Okay, let's just move on. Oh, fine. Check it out, they're doing a facial reconstruction. Yikes. Victim one, 25 to 35 year old female mongoloid. Oh, I'd never wear my hair like this. And I'm not mongoloid, I'm Japanese. Victim two, uh, male, Caucasian, 25 to 35 years old. You can tell from the cheekbones he's pleasantly plump. Hey, I'm not that chubby. Rue, do, do you think I need to lose a couple pounds? It doesn't really matter. We're gonna be dead anyways. Hmm. Yeah. But at least we'll be going to heaven together. Damn it. Maybe I did need to lose a couple pounds. <gasps> this is it. Oh my god. Can you give this to Leslie? It's her fishing rod, uh, you know, salmon season. <gasps> huh? All right, guys. Been a pleasure. <sighs> <laughs> huh, fishing rod. You've got a little... Uh. <gasps> <laughs> hey, Max and Rue. I'm so sorry I couldn't come get you. Work has been crazy. Come on in. So, what do you want to do tonight? Oh, there's an amazing lecture by Dr. Jono. He's a forensic expert. You're coming, right? Sure, we could do that. Everyone who enters a crime scene leaves something behind and takes something away. But remember, the mind is easily deceived, 
then sometimes you just need to look at the scene differently to see the truth. Thank you.